Hey everybody, welcome to the Acura Total Package Challenge. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer, car enthusiast and lover of pizza. Today, we're gonna compare the MDX against four other really good SUVs. And of course, we're gonna give you some fancy comparison charts, but you know what, to make things easy, why don't I just pick one from each category to showcase against the MDX? Seems to make sense. And then finally, we'll know once and for all which one truly is the total package. Make sense? Let's go. Whenever I'm looking to buy a new car, the first thing I consider, the looks. I know it may sound shallow, but it's important. I like the lines of this RX350. It's aggressive, it's powerful. The interior, very comfortable, very soft and nice. But the MDX has something going on as well. This diamond pentagon grille kind of stops you in your tracks, and it's because it's part of the Precision Concept car. If you haven't seen that, head to Acura's website right now. It's beautiful. So they've got this new inspiring grille. They've got brand new beautiful wheels. Oh, and the jewel-eyed LED headlights are wider and brighter, giving you a better sense of view. And the chrome tip exhaust, both standard. Sounds like a total package to me. And then there's the cockpit. From in here, everything's at your fingertips. The steering wheel controls, the dual screen nav, which means you can keep your map going and your music, so you don't have to figure out, do I want to get to the party or look cool when I arrive? I know my choice. Plus, there are ports and plugs all over the car, which means everyone can stay connected. And you want to up your style game? How about some handcrafted wood trim? Or how about premium leather seats with contrast stitching? Or second row captain's chairs. You want that, do you, do you? Done. So obviously styling is very subjective, but I gotta say, the MDX really holds its own against the rest of these guys, and I would say that even if they weren't paying me. You guys are paying me, right? Okay, great. Now that that's cleared up, let's move on to convenience and innovation. Here we have the BMW X5. It's their most popular SUV, and for good reason. It looks good, the interior is comfortable, and it's got some cool options like a third row seat, which is sort of easy to get to. But I don't like levers, I like buttons. I want to push a button and make something happen, and the MDX delivers. For me to access the standard third row seat, that's all I got to do. Push a button, boom, I'm in. Thank you. And the MDX has more cargo space than the X5, which is perfect for running errands, picking up groceries, or a weekend in the woods. Plus, a multi-view rear camera comes standard. That's not something you'll find with the X5, where they care only about what's directly behind them. Now comes the time when we bring up one of those fancy charts I was talking about before to compare the MDX to the other five in innovation and convenience. As you can see, the MDX doesn't win in each and every category, but as a total package, it does pretty well. And I gotta say, that whole push a button and get access to the third row, that is a game changer. All right, on to tech, and I gotta warn you, I'm gonna geek out about this stuff. There is no doubt that the Infiniti QX60 is a great SUV. It's loaded with really cool features, such as moving object detection and intelligent cruise control. Unfortunately, to get those features, you have to upgrade the package, which means you're paying more money. When it comes to the MDX, you're not forced to choose from a whole list of safety features. No, they just give them to you, standard. It's called Acura Watch. It's a sophisticated suite of advanced technologies that use cameras and radar to sense everything going on around the car, which means it could, for instance, let you know you're getting too close to the car in front of you, or it could assist with braking to help you reduce or completely avoid an impact. And maybe coolest of all, it will help keep you centered in your lane while you're driving. So cool, and it's all standard. So now we've seen how the Infiniti QX60 stacks up against the MDX. How does it fare against the others? Again, the thing I really like about the Acura is all the safety features come standard with Acura Watch. No upgrades or special packages to worry about. Okay, now we're clear here. Let's move on to the next. All right, guys, let's get real for a second. Of course you want your car to look great and have all kinds of comfort and tech and convenience, 
but safety really matters. I mean, you're hauling precious cargo in there. So how does the MDX stack up against the competition? I'm glad I asked. According to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, the MDX and the RX350 both qualified as top safety picks plus. That's the highest rating they can get. Pretty comforting. All right, now on to the fifth, final, and my favorite segment, performance. You ready to hit the road? Of course, I'm a car guy, and I love some power. I love some horsepower under the hood. I love some oomph to my car, and this Q7 delivers. In fact, it leads the class in horsepower, and thanks to its all-wheel drive, it handles really well also. But as everyone knows, power isn't everything. The MDX has a three and a half liter V6, but this car weighs nearly 700 pounds less than the Q7, which means it gets a little bit better fuel economy. It's a lot lighter in the corners. The nine speed automatic transmission and the paddle shifters along with that light weight make this car a blast to drive. Another explanation for all this road hugging fun, the available super handling all wheel drive system, which can distribute power from the front to the rear, either both wheels together or independently. The outcome, fantastic control and cornering. All right, so we've driven the MDX, we've driven the Q7. Let's see how they stack up against the competition. Now again, one of the things I love about this car is its light weight. I also love the standard paddle shifters. But guys, the time has come to find out what is the final verdict. So obviously each of these SUVs has their own selling point, but only one can be the total package. US News and World Report got it right when they said the 2017 Acura MDX is the best luxury three row SUV for the money. I gotta say, I agree. I mean, it looks fantastic. There are a ton of standard features and it's really fun to drive. So the question then becomes, where did the inspiration for this type of engineering excellence come from? Oh. Well, I've done my job. Now it's your turn. Head to Acura.com to make your own comparison. Thanks for joining me. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. I'm off to drive more cars and eat more pizza.